Hey y'all, so today I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things that I fear. Some of which are serious, some of which are kind of funny, some of which are very similar to the spider that I just, uh, just saw in my window right there. Um, hee <laughs> My biggest fear actually sounds a little bit like a conspiracy, but I, I think it's totally valid. I, I fear that there is a cure for cancer, but governments or corporations or selfishness and greed of the people involved in the medical industry says, no, we can't release this cure because we'll lose jobs or we'll lose money um, that you know we put into the research to find this cure and things like that. Um, and it just, that really does horrify me because cancer touches so many of our lives, especially my own as well. And I just really, I guess it's not a fear that there's a cure of it, but I just really cannot comprehend that sort of selfishness and greed, this personality traits that would exist inside someone that would say like, well, you know, if we keep people sick, then, um, you know, we'll make some money off of that. They won't revolt. All of these things. It's just that really horrifies me. And kind of in conjunction with that fear, I do have a fear of running out of tea. And in the past year, I've had so many crises where I haven't had access to my hormones. Having had a hysterectomy, the idea of not being able to be on hormone replacement therapy, especially at 24 years old, is really scary and so I have this fear of running out of it this relying on something outside of my body that I can't always control and then this idea like I don't know if you've heard in the news lately but there was a CEO of a company who bought out a drug that um, helps a bunch of people who have AIDS or have toxoplasmosis and basically upped the price of it so it scares me the thought that I pay $80 for my vial of tea that lasts me 10 months now but if some person out of selfishness and greed decided oh we're gonna charge two grand for that instead I would be so screwed so I guess I do fear I fear running out of tea <laughs> along with that though really is the fear of death I've feared death for many times in my life I find myself fearing death most when I'm unhappy when it sort of feels like I've got things that I need to complete in my life but ultimately I actually I usually don't fear death. If I'm really happy and I'm having a good day, good week, if I feel good about the directions I'm moving in my life, if I feel good about my relationships, I don't fear death because I feel like, oh, you know, if I died, I'd have no regrets. Like I've said, I love you to everyone I love. Um, but I think that my fear of running out of tea goes along with this fear of, of death, like a fear of a death controlled by others. So like even like getting hit by a car or getting hit by a train, um, I'll begin to have these fears of death when I'm unhappy and when I feel like there's still so much I need to do to resolve in my life. I have a huge fear of sharks, like even in the shower and in pools. I know it's like, that's the most irrational fear that I have. I literally go swimming in a pool or in a lake even that there's no sharks in it and I just, freak out. I'm like, there's God, there's a shark. There's a shark in here. Um, but even more so than that, I fear crocodiles because my nice friend in college pointed out to me when I told her that my fear of sharks was like this crippling fear. She was like, but have you ever seen a crocodile? They're like a shark, but they can go on land and they attack for fun. And I was like, <laughs> now I'm really afraid of crocodiles. I have this fear of losing my memory. I just forget a lot of things, um, fun things, exciting things, unimportant things. And I just fear that it's going to get worse over time. So I'm trying to do tricks to increase my memory but you know what am I gonna do really um, anyway I also have this fear of sharks oh wait wait did I just mention that I don't remember no I'm just kidding I do remember but things like that where I'm like wait did I lock the door I don't remember and then I check it like 15 times and I'm just like oh. I have this big fear of difficult decisions like decision making. I don't like to let other people down, but I also don't like to let myself down. Both feel really bad. So I find that the decisions I'm making tend to fall into two categories, like one of which would be self-care, like caring for myself and respecting myself and my needs. And the other is caring for others and respecting what others want and need. And I have a really hard time with this, this balance there. So I kind of have a fear of the difficult decisions that cause me to confront that balance basically. One of the most common fears that I've seen is a fear of failure or rejection, and I also carry that same fear, especially being trans and feeling like rejection can boil down to just this one aspect of me. And I really, 
it makes me really unhappy and really scared when I think about it. So I do have like this fear of failure to like to try something and not succeed at it. And last but definitely not least, I have this huge fear of losing the people that I love, especially my family and close friends, and especially by accident. So like I said, like a train crash or a car accident or a medical emergency, I really worry about losing the people that I love. However, this fear I definitely have been able to resolve or at least live with in a healthy way by letting the people that I love know that I love them. Anytime that I can, any day, any moment that I think of them, writing them a card, just constantly expressing my love and gratitude for them, it helps me fear less losing them because at least I know at all times they know what they mean to me and how important they are to me and what a part of my life that they are. So that helps me at least with this fear. I fear less when I know that I've expressed, you know, especially to my mom, how much I love her and to my dad, how much I love him. So I think that's really important too. I feel like talking about fears can be a scary thing. So I'm really glad that I decided to share this with y'all. I feel like it's like a weight off my chest. I'm like, ah, oh, these things aren't as scary, you know, once I say them out loud. So if you're feeling that same way, or if you're like, I have this weird fear and I don't think anyone else has it, feel free to comment below. Cause I promise you're, you're probably not alone. And overall, I hope that this, this finds you well, please definitely, you know, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back. I'll be back next week. And thank you all so much for listening. All right, peace.